Okay, so there we finished up the template, and now we have some work to do, and that is we need to build all these pages that we have right here. All right, so we, we have these linked to files, but those files don't exist yet, so it's time to do ahead and create those. The first thing we're going to do is, um, in the course content, I have this sandwich content.txt. Again, I'm using the Chrome browser, so when I right mouse click on this, it's going to say save link as, but in your computer, it may say if you're using Explorer or Firefox, it might have something dis something similar, but not exactly like that. But you want to save what that link file is, and when I click on it, it's going to bring up the browser. I'm going to go into my sandwich shop, and I'm going to go ahead and save that file. All right, so now I have content to go along with all my pages. So I'll go back to my sublime text. I have content, template, sandwich, images. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is open up my template page. And the only thing I'm going to do is do a file, oops, save as. And I'm going to change this from template to index.html. Index dot, well, dot HTML. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now this is the index page. I'm going to go ahead and open up my content page. And you see here's the home page. So I have to uh, start with the title. So I'm going to grab the title, copy. All right, then I go back to the index. And you can see we have a placeholder here that just says sandwich shop. I'm going to replace that. And then I'm going to go back into the content again. I'm going to grab this description, Trident Sandwich Shop, home to the Pig Knuckle Sandwich. And then I'm going to go back to the index page and this placeholder that says description, that's the text, not the lab not the uh, attributes. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in. So under the content, don't get rid of this name because we need name equals description here. All right, next thing we need to do is go get the stuff that goes on the page and that's this right here so I'm gonna go ahead and copy starting from the left side all the way down until I get all that content I'm gonna copy it go back to index find my section so the section just has this h1 tag I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this or I'm gonna select it to get rid of it that was just a placeholder and paste in my content boom there you go then I'm going to go ahead and do a file and save. And now if I go back to the browser, so here is, this was my template page. Now when I click on home, it should work. It should work. There it goes. All right, the only problem is you can see that this is all centered and we don't want to have that. So let's go back and fix that real quick. And that is I have to open up my CSS page. And I'm going to go down to my section area. And I'm going to create, you can see if I've done this before. So I'm just going to un I have the instructions in there. And that is, we're going to do section P. That means the paragraphs inside the section, I want them left aligned. And then add some padding on them too. All right, I'll do file and save. And now when I go back and take a look at my page, Voila, it's all done. So now I just have to replace, do the rest of these pages. So let's see if we can do that real quick. All right, so I go back here. I'm going to close my CSS page because I'm not using it anymore. I'm going to close my index page because I'm not using that anymore. I'm going to open up my sandwich template and do file, save as, and let's do the about page next. So it'll be about dot html I will save it so you can see now this is called about dot html and I'll do the same thing so the about page we have this as a title so I'm going to copy that I'll go back well, and then I'm going to go back into my about page and paste replace sandwich shop with Trident sandwich shop about and I'll go back to my content. I'll grab this description. 
copy that. I'll go back to my about page and I'll overwrite this description with the actual description. And then one last trip back. I'll go ahead and again start over here on line 13, way over here on the left hand side and select all the way down until we get to history. And I'll copy that. Go back into my about page and here's my section I'm going to replace. Again, we're going to replace this H2 and boom, it's done. All right, and then I'll do file and save and then I can check it real quick. All right, so this is our home page down here about us. Bam, there it is. All right, so let's do history next. And I'm going to close about.html. I'm going to open up the template. I'm going to do file, save as, and I'm going to call this history.html. I'm going to go back to my content, and I'm going to grab the title. Go back to the history page and replace this title. Okay, then we we'll go back to content. I'm going to grab this description. Go back to my history page and overwrite this word description with the actual description. Go back to content. Start on line 21 way over here. Copy down to the end, go back into history, and then select this entire line that has the H2 placeholder and paste it in. I right, do file, save all, and now I can come back here, and now our history should work. Great. So I have one more to do, and that is contact, so pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and close our history.html page. I'm going to open our template. I'm going to do a file, save as, and call this contact.html. This all works because we already had these file names in mind when we went ahead and created the page. All right, so I'll go back to my content page. I'll go ahead and grab my title. Go back then to my contact page. I mean, to, yeah, to my contact page. I will grab the title placeholder and paste it in. I'll go back to our, uh, my content page. I'll grab the description, copy that. Go back to content.html and replace the word description. Probably shouldn't use the word description since that's the same as in the other. I guess I was lazy. All right, and the last thing to do is go back and get the rest of the text. All right, I'll copy that. Go back to contact. Grab the placeholder H2. Paste in my content. Do a file, save all. And now we go back refresh and now contact works about us works everything works all right so that's how we build a multi-page site you're going to do a 10 you're going to oh no, no this is trident tennis up here what the heck that all about all right well that was not right all right so let's go back there's contact what is going on there the problem is I'm going to have to replace this on every page. No, not here. Well, actually, this one, too. Sandwich. All right. So I'm going to have to replace 10 us on each page. All right, so I'm going to do File, Save All. Okay, I'm going to close my contact. That's the problem. 
You want to make sure everything is perfect before you um, put or you put your content in. Because we're going to have to do this for every single page. So that's index, contact, history. history what do we have list we did contact history index about yeah okay let's do file save all now let's go back and see if we fixed everything <laughs> I never noticed that before I had to try and tennis up there all right refresh Ah, Trident Sandwich. So that's the index, history, about us, contact. Wonderful. All right, so it all works. And that's exactly how you do it. So when you're going to be creating your content for your final project, you want your contact, you want your page to look similar to this. You want to go ahead and create an images folder and a folder that has your project in it. You want to go ahead then and create a content page and that content page will have all this for every page you do and you do that before you build then you build your template and then you build your pages so it's a pretty easy process all right we are done